Hi guys, this is Emnol, and we are back playing Hearts of Iron for us, France. Uh, sorry for not putting out an episode yesterday, but I was extremely busy, so I'm going to catch up today. I just loaded the save, and uh, apparently, whenever you load it, uh, very effectively shows you all the divisions enemies have, and uh, Last time I've done that, whenever I unpaused, if I remember correctly, most of that information disappeared. So let's, I guess, take a look. Uh, this one is the most interesting, our uh, offensive in the Crimea, where we managed uh, to uh, throw 10 divisions here in a last uh, hope to uh, hold on to Sebastopol, and we were successful. We also managed to uh, push uh, through the... Uh, Let's call it. Uh, and how do you call it? Uh, it's uh, it's not a strait, obviously. A land bridge, yeah, land bridge uh, from the uh, mainland Ukraine to the uh, to the Crimean Peninsula. And now, um, as you can see, there is almost eighty divisions here. There are. Usually in a decent uh, shape as far as, uh, well, at least the organization goes. So cleaning this one up will take a while. Uh, I think we are uh, on a, uh, well, we're in a good position to do so since uh, all the angles of escape have been cut by our rush through here. And uh, only port uh, seems to be uh, more or less firmly in our control even though we have uh, no way of uh, uh, getting uh, getting the second uh, province next to it to prevent uh, from uh, fighting in an uh, uh, from encirclement penalty in case they are being attacked. So, but uh, I think we should be alright. Another uh, two encirclements. The the first one here with uh, sixty or so divisions and uh, including three panzers. Uh, this one is fairly big uh, size-wise, but uh, not as full of divisions, uh, perhaps 30 or so. Another four here. Uh, this one here is fairly hefty. Uh, 50 divisions, maybe 60 or so. I don't want to count them all again, but yeah. And, uh, well, as far as uh, the rest of the front goes, uh, it's they have some, some things, but... Uh, well, definitely uh, not enough to uh, launch a counter-offensive. Maybe here, since we pulled uh, a lot of divisions down, down south uh, fairly rapidly. Uh, so, well, I'm pretty uh, pretty certain that we'll be able to uh, collapse those packets, uh, clear them out, and uh, then re-establish a proper front line and push. That being said, uh, this front line and got mixed up again, which was just here, three divisions to, 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 to make sure that those won't push, so we'll uh, make this one shorter. And, uh, well, rest will leave as it is, I guess. Uh, there, there is quite a lot of divisions down south, so uh, having uh, all those uh, divisions of ours that are there, um, and uh, Automatically cover this is going to be useful. Uh, our allies are mostly uh, covering all those uh, circumstances and should be slowly pushing it and cleaning them out. We have some divisions of our own here and there, so I guess we'll try to cut uh, those things in uh, sort of little pieces uh, you know, to make uh, those. And settlement smaller, easier to uh, to finish. Especially with this uh, cutting this one off should be uh, very useful. And uh, same goes for this, I guess. And uh, trapping those six divisions if possible. And basically, I want to to, to clean up this big packet because that uh, will uh, be will use up a lot of our forces. Let's see. Uh, let's go. Here, uh, but there is a danger of 
sort of an encirclement around here. Uh, there are some Romanian panzers here, uh, so they should be uh, useful in helping us to deal with that. And well, apparently there's one of our green divisions here. Uh, let's use them, uh, use it for a uh, for a time being. Also. What we definitely want to do is make sure that uh, we have those attack orders. Because I think we run out of them in uh, a few spots, like this one. Mm. It's a sign. Okay, so only two of our divisions are here because most of them are fighting in Crimea. Well, good enough. Uh, is this division there? Uh, no, it isn't. Uh, so we are going to use that and uh, help this to uh, help this division to uh, get this uh, packet, and we are going to take uh, a last victory point here to prevent further reinforcements. By reinforcements, I mean uh, production of supplies. Uh, Alright, so this uh, will leave as it is. If they wish to attack, they will. If they want, they won't. Into a puzzle, I guess. Um, and we are very close uh, from uh, finishing our army reform. On the other hand, the uh, uh, Soviet Union went uh, started the lessons of war that will uh, remove or well, uh, offset Offsets purged, which will uh, make our job much more difficult. So we definitely should uh, focus on cleaning up those pockets. Oh, and as you can see, we don't see uh, our enemies anymore for whatever reason. Because I'm pretty sure we are. Uh, well, as you can see, uh, we are in early 1940s. So I really doubt that they somehow have uh, so much higher uh, encryption. So that's uh, something is not right here. And that we I can't uh, even see the amount of their divisions when we are fighting them. It was uh, it was much clearer, for example, against Germans. Which, so, I don't know. This is what it is. Uh, those two divisions that are doing nothing should uh, clean this one. Very nice. Uh, and you guys are moving. Oh, you're moving there, so definitely don't want that. Let's establish a new front line. Make an attack order. Okay, well, I guess. Let's cancel this attack order. Oh, this attack order. You guys go ahead and join this. Uh, you are part of this thing, we also don't want that, so let's make... Well, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to join this. Alright, and all those divisions uh, should join this, and also have another call there, because why not? Uh, are you guys already in this? You are. Have anyone else? No, I'm good. So, um, do we want this attack? Uh, I actually think we do. Here we go. And uh, they will support this attack as soon as they get there. Uh, very nice. And it would be nice to actually wipe this one out. Uh, or at least push this one out first. But, well, I, I guess we just need to, for, for the time being, we just need to keep fighting here to keep them uh, in all three provinces to keep the, them from regaining the organization. And uh, this way we should be able to grind through uh, those quite a few divisions fairly uh, easily. Um, anything else happening? Not really. That's a, they will do the, the fighting and uh, in the meantime we will uh, focus here. Okay, so you are moving there for whatever reason. I really, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about this whole automation, but uh, just a change of pace, so let's just stick with it, I guess. Um, this should, uh, should be closed fairly soon. Uh, I kind of hope that those uh, Romanian divisions would help us here. 
That's apparently not the case. Uh, thankfully, we are attacking another two provinces here with uh, a decent success, so we should be able to cut it off even uh, if they manage to, to start running uh, through this corridor uh, before we close it. Oh, look at that! Uh, so apparently AI got fixed when we loaded it because uh, the, all the all of the war have been fought uh, like without once reloading the save uh, until now, and uh, all of the Czechoslovakian divisions were just sitting on the uh, on the border here, and now they decided to move. Not the case for Yugoslavian ones, but well. And that's something. Yeah, so so that's, uh, that will be very helpful. Okay, so we managed... Uh, let's actually support this attack. Since this whole attacking through the river is uh, problematic. As you can see, uh, we are getting uh, the shorter end of the stick there. Uh, later we will of course crush this one. Ah, Jesus. Where are you going even? Oh, you are out of that, okay. Oh, I guess. Uh, and you are... Okay, so apparently you were there and... Uh, I must have mixed something up, or... I don't know. Uh, now, there's motorized troops. Do I want to use them now, or do I want to... Close this? Probably. There are... Oh, we can I get... Ah, you know what? We're doing alright. Let's get planning bonus for them. There we go. And uh, just to check if all of our tanks are doing something useful. And the answer is, of course, not. Let's throw them back in. Perhaps here. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter which uh, one are we attacking, really. Uh, you guys should join, and you should join. Alright, uh, so I will allow them to, to regain some of the uh, organization and will join one of the other attacks. Yes, yeah, so, so as you can see we are uh, grinding six divisions at the time. Fairly uh, easily. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And now it doesn't really matter which one is it. Um, well, I kind of want set to have this division that was here. Uh, right, this one should fall. Uh, this one is actually fairly uh, difficult to do. Uh, where are you guys coming? You are going there. Uh, this is a mess, I know, but uh, we can like doing it all manual would be almost cheating. Uh, now, uh, so we managed to uh, actually go ahead and help with that. Uh, thing is that once this finishes, uh, this guy will be automatically assigned to any other uh, green mm, front line because this front line will disappear, which is going to be problematic. Uh, now, um, can we push that? Not sure how many divisions are there, but might as well check. Where's this going? Uh, I want Panzers there, and I guess... Uh, just throw all of it that so it will be able to overwhelm them uh, fairly easily. Now, um, I think we want to get to... Uh, on, of course, we want to get to Stalingrad, but... Um, and since there are not many enemies around here, we might as well start marching towards uh, Baku, or rather uh, Astrahan uh, here first to cut it off. Uh, there is a lot of our allied divisions around. Uh, well, that being said, we should probably get at least one Panzer division to, to do that, so uh, let's redeploy. And uh, once we uh, cut it off, we'll get ourselves all that uh, sweet, sweet oil from Baku. And of course, uh, stop uh, Soviets from getting all that oil.
Mm. We may probably order this attack. Uh, not sure yet. Uh, let's let's wait till we clean that up. So our allies are um, doing just fine cleaning this uh, this biggest one out of those. Uh, this one is also doing fine. Um, better than I expected, really, because with all those marches here, I thought it would be a pain in the ass, but well, apparently not the case. Uh, we have some of our allied divisions attacking there. Uh, so let's leave it as it is for now uh, when it comes to our troops. We are down to 100,000. Another fighting here, so well, that should be easy enough. Uh, let's keep uh, cutting that one into pieces. Yeah, without redeployments, that's fine. Oh, and that actually fell felt pretty easily. Now, uh, let's. Take all of those and assign them there actually. We don't need many more here, not really. Mm -hmm. Where are those 10? Oh, right, those were not blue, but uh, 10 green divisions that we had there. Which is alright. Uh, those are just our allies, so. Um, I guess let's just start redeploying them properly. Mm. I want to uh, for our front main front line to finish there. And honestly, uh, our allies are doing just fine there. So let's get you here and let's remove this line. Uh, we just want to push uh, push east. And our allies can handle the rest, really. Uh, one division somewhere. Oh, right, this one, of course. Very well. Uh, Yugoslavians moving, I'm really. Uh, most of Czechoslovaks came around, though, and well, they actually went straight for the uh, main front line. Very good. Uh, right. Once this falls, we should be. Uh, very much. Uh, Alright, so you guys should probably just uh, search redeploy. Uh, another thing, we should probably now cut this front into pieces, or rather, mm, main thrust there, I'd say. Like that. We'll do it. And uh, this is a, a decent. Oh, right. And as you can see, uh, it's March, so uh, snow is giving way to mud. It's going to be problematic. Uh, I should have been a bit faster, but okay, let's just try to drive those panzers uh, into all the right places. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's move you there. Hmm. Okay, not sure what's that about. Uh, probably those the previous order that just got weirdly misshaped. Uh, I'll actually uh, activate those attacks uh, for the time being. Uh, I'm actually having trouble here. Yeah, well, this should be good in a sec. Hmm. We wish they would search to redeploy more often, as I mentioned over and over. Actually, uh, yeah, so this seems fairly undefended. We should probably also uh, should we drive just just drive for Stalingrad uh, before the. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go. It go in both cases aggressively. I want to get as far as I can before the mods stop us. Hmm. We are on an outskirt of Moscow, as you can probably see. <laughs> yeah, so, so this should be cut off. Uh, another, let's say, 
two Panzer Division should ride here. And another two should... Well, this will be a problem because we will uh, cut this front into nasty little pieces, but we'll just leave it to, 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 to AI uh, after that. Uh, right there. Come on, finish the drive so we can... Uh... Alright, so all of you are going to join that. Uh... Same goes for you, and same goes for you. Let's do the whole run with the tanks, really. Uh, another one we'll go here, and AI will do the, will deal with the rest. Mm, cancel all of those, so they won't reappear. All right, and where are the other three? So three divisions here. Uh, definitely want to just take those and reassign them back there, and take those and reassign them back here. All of that is uh, looking good, and this one is getting cleaned up. All right, yeah, that's that looks nice. Mm. Okay, you guys arrived here. Uh, I just well send the rest of you here, for example, just to get cut it in all the proper pieces. And Not sure if that won't break AI in some in a way, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, oh, apparently Astrahan got taken from us. Oops. Uh, I just want well, to do the drive, do a drive to Stalingrad. While we're at it, uh, it's it's really oh look at that they actually have. Uh, Uh, what should we do with you? I think we should probably push uh, through here. Let's cancel that. And push towards Ural. What's here, exactly. And we are going to do that. Uh, because the, the main problem here, for the time being, is the fact that uh, well, our units have not reorganized properly yet. They are not in positions. I think it's, it is worth it to do this uh, this push first. Actually, we are taking uh, some serious losses. Holding those bot a few bottles here. Mm -hmm. As soon as we break through the um, parts when they are entrenched and beat them up a little bit, we should be alright. And as soon as the rest of our units bother to finally move, uh, once again, all of you, uh, well, frankly, that should be something like that. Well, actually, it should be something like that. Uh, oops, here we go. Peace. Here we go. Yeah, very nice. I thought that you are also going to go there. And apparently, there is a lot of smaller divisions trying to cut us into into pieces um, before we actually start attacking. So let's. Uh, Make some manual movements first. Right, and yeah, yes, you can go. Uh, yeah, something like that. And hopefully, AI will deal with that. Uh, that means we can move our panzers. Uh, back into position. So one panzer is here. Uh, we have. Oh, where's the last one again? Hmm. 
Also, we lost it somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's redeploy them here. With this attack, uh, should we? Uh, last thing, we shouldn't drive through those mountains. Waste of time, really. Alright, uh, this small push to at Stalingrad and army reform is completed. Uh, we lose uh, the victors of the Great War and uh, debuff. Uh, that, among other things, means that we uh, regain uh, we, we gained 140,000 or so uh, manpower. And uh, now uh, we can research a uh, land doctrine without penalties, which we'll think about in a sec. And uh, since all the focuses that are left are air and naval focuses that uh, they are too late anyway, we are going to stop using focus altogether to uh, start working our way back from our minus 300 deficit here. Alright, and let's see how our push uh, continues. So as you can see, oh, okay, that's actually it's, it starts to look fairly dangerous. So let's uh, push those up. Those are really bad divisions, so not too dangerous. But the, those Xinjiang uh, troops are well. The, the way they are moving here is causing some problems. And apparently for some... oh Jesus, yeah, and that got messed up. Yeah, that was, that was probably a moderately bad idea to uh, uh, to do this uh, small attack, but well, at least we we starting to we started to to actually move uh, on the whole front, and uh, it it should speed up in a sec as soon as the uh, rest of the troops uh, arrived in positions. Actually, overrun them. We're overrun Sam, not all. Mm. Is this mud? Uh, not yet. Uh, we have some mud, as you can see, but it's not as common. Well, it's pretty bloody common. And, yeah, so we'll, we'll, honestly, in a sec, we'll need to, to stop this because, uh, well, we are in a decent or more or less shape in terms of equipment, but uh, we won't be able to survive a few months of a mud push and uh, to uh, force the Soviets to capitulate, we'll have to, do, to get to around here, quite a far, quite far beyond Ural mountains. So, uh, it would be nice to get to Moscow for, uh, first, so let's continue at least this push. And here I want to establish, for example, well, I want to establish a line that is not a... Um, yeah, I want to establish such a line that uh, it's not based on the river, so they can uh, just uh, defend that. Now, this Kharkiv attack is quite failing, so let's get a small instrument around here. Oh, those, uh, so they're attacking into the... Eh, slowly. Alright, we have uh, our first medium tank, and we could possibly start working on a, uh, on a better one. Hmm. I think this one will be good enough, not waiting another year is, it seems fairly pointless. And we are going to use our next reset slot to get ground assault. And just making sure that we are up to date on other things. We are. Alright. Working on the Alang Doctrine it is then. Alright. Um, and since we are uh, pretty much out of time, 
we are going to take a break here and next episode hopefully we will take Moscow and get an event for a conquest of Stalingrad perhaps because well come on there must be a French event for a conquest of Stalingrad right well we shall see uh, how's this one looking uh, they're just sitting here but hopefully they will clean dust uh, this up and are we getting uh, yeah, well, Romania is getting it, I guess. Uh, well, I don't really mind. Not really. It's not like we are going to uh, continue this uh, this whole play through past uh, conquest of Soviet Union. Maybe we'll get we'll deal with Japan, but eh, that's about it. So, uh, once again, first of all, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you are enjoying the series. In a day or two, if I We'll find time. A new playthrough will ca uh, will come out. A campaign in has uh, in Europe Universal Stage Four, by the way. So I hope you uh, will enjoy that. It will be a pre preliminary campaign, so to speak, um, before the uh, release of a uh, next um, DLC, Rights of Man. So uh, look out for that. Have a nice day and. See you next time.